everyone, Tia One here. Today, let's talk about Locker, a supercharged version of LoRa for model fine tuning. Instead of using huge weight matrices, Locker swaps them out for smaller ones, combining them with the Chronicer product, basically matrix magic. Plus, you can add a third matrix for extra control if you're feeling fancy. Here's the gist. Smaller matrices equals faster, more efficient training. Rank and alpha equals fine-tuning controls for a perfect fit. Dropout options equals regularization like a pro. CONV to D decomposition equals slims down big convolutional layers. Target modules equals pick exactly what you want to fine-tune. You can use Locker with models like Stable Diffusion to boost performance without hogging resources. So if model training seems like a drag, you haven't tried Locker yet. All right, now let me show you how to train a Locker on TensorArt. It's going to be a fun ride, so buckle up and let's dive right in. First things first, let's open up online training and upload the images you want to train. Next up, head over to the toolbar on the right. Switch to professional mode because we're all pros here and select Locker. Simple, right? Next, we're going to choose the basic model. Since Locker is like a leveled up version of LoRa, you can go ahead and pick the SD 1.5 model for training. It's like upgrading from a bicycle to a motorcycle, same skills, just faster and cooler. The parameters below are pretty much the same as when we train the Flux model. If you want to train different types of models, don't worry, I'll be adding a shared document in the video description with all the detailed parameter settings. That way, you won't have to guess it's all laid out for you. When it comes to filling out your prompts, here's a little pro tip for you. Just hit abstract on the image you uploaded, copy that, paste it right into your prompt. Easy, right? Once you've set all the parameters, you're good to go. Let's skip ahead to the end of training, pick a result you're happy with, and just hit publish to share your model. Now, give it a few minutes for the model to deploy. Once it's up and running, we'll test it out. If everything looks good and no surprises, congrats. You've just trained your first locker model. How cool is that? So, that's the whole process of training a locker model. In my opinion, Locker is basically an upgraded version of LoRa. With the same basic model, I think Locker gives you slightly better results and it's a bit faster too. But hey, different strokes for different folks. This is just my take and you'll have to test it out yourself. Anyway, that's it for today's video. See you in the next one.